What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got a video of YSL's brand new wireless earbuds, and kind of just continuing on the series of videos where we've kind of talked about the tech products from designer brands. So, if you guys remember a few months ago, I did a video of the LV earbuds, which in Canada, after tax, costed over $1,500. I also did a video of Louis Vuitton's almost $4,000 smartwatch, which is really cool, and it was a nice experience to kind of check out and see what they were working on on the tech side. These ones right here are actually pretty affordable, relatively speaking, at around $210 before tax, which is actually surprising coming from a brand like YSL. But in this video, I'm also gonna be comparing the Yivo Air YSL edition to the Apple AirPods 2. If you guys wanna win these, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below and follow me over on Instagram, and I'll pick a winner when this video hits 2,000 likes. So just a little bit of a backstory, a few weeks ago YSL released their collection of lifestyle products for 2019 which had a whole range of stuff, whether it was Bang & Olufsen speakers, some wireless earbuds, as well as some home speakers, a Leica disposable camera, just some accessories and gifts to have around the house. But there's actually quite a few things in that collection that I think are really, really nice. I bought these a few months ago but I just haven't mounted them yet, they were kind of overpriced, possibly a stupid purchase. But they also made a gold one which looks amazing but I'm definitely not going to be spending my money on that. So just take a look at the packaging here, there really isn't anything that is too crazy about it. You have this very faint YSL print on the top and it is a collaboration with Yevo, Yevo, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and this is the Air headphone, it's just a rebrand with YSL with some special colors that aren't available on the site. And you also get this little envelope here that says Saint Laurent and this one was from the Rodeo Drive store in LA. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this and see what it says inside. Haven't opened this yet. And it pretty much just shows a receipt, nothing special, and um, yeah. So like I said, the packaging itself doesn't really have anything special at all. It just has like the print on the front, very, very faint. There's not like an emboss or anything. Um, and just opening this up right here, you have the headphones themselves. It just has a little bit of a print on the bottom as well. And just sliding them out, Take a look at the uh, the thing right here. You have the two earbuds and also the YSL print on the case. So just a reference here, the price of these earbuds standalone is $129. And that is actually a pretty reasonable price for a fully wireless pair. But with the branding, you're paying an $80 premium and you're getting just a little bit of embossing, a gold trim. And other than that, nothing too much aside from knowing you have a YSL collab. Just compared to the earbuds from Louis Vuitton, those ones came in at a price point of around $299 retail, but with the custom LV branding, it came in at a price of just under $1,000. With that though, you got quite a bit of customized things, such as a custom case that was made out of metal, you had some glass, the cables were also LV branded with the leather holder, whereas the earbuds itself also had a custom LV print that you pretty much couldn't replicate or find, whereas this one just has the gold trim, which is very minor. For some people, you might just like that. It's nice and simple, not too loud, but for others, you might feel like that $80 really didn't go anywhere aside from that little print on the front. Inside the box, you're also gonna find some ear tips as well as a micro USB cable. And other than that, there isn't anything extra. There's just the uh, earbud themselves, which we're gonna take out here and talk about. So here's the case itself with its branding on the top. It says Saint Laurent X Yevo, and on the side, you have this gold trim, and on the back, you have your micro USB port. Nothing too special there, it should have had USB Type-C. But it does feel kind of plasticky and cheap, it kind of clicks around a little bit. But I do like the fact that it is very compact and it has up to 14 hours of battery life that it gives you, including the juice that is already on the earbuds. So this is how they kind of fit. It overall does fit very easily and I think it rests well inside the case and just very low profile, it doesn't open by itself accidentally. And if you have to open them up, just press that right there and you have your earbuds and it does have a light with a battery indicator. So hence its name, the Yevo Air is actually just 4.6 grams, which is actually pretty close to the weight of the Apple AirPods, which are the lightest wireless earbuds on the market at just four grams. So that is actually pretty impressive considering they are a little bit thick, but it actually gives a nice look to it. They're actually very minimal and simple and the YSL collab comes in three different colors, including the black on black, the black and gold, and the black and silver. It has two little pins on the back and it prints right and left which makes it easy to figure out every single time. The overall connectivity experience was very good. I just had to press the earbud and it connected right away. And the way it works is that one of them uses Bluetooth and the other two are synced together. So I rarely experienced any drop-offs in connectivity between these two sides. At the price premium though, even though YSL has gone a little bit more minimal with a lot of their collabs, I would have liked if there was just like a little bit of branding on the earbud themselves, maybe just a gloss finish or an emboss with the mini YSL logo 
or even just like a higher quality case to kind of make that price point make sense. And I would have liked to have seen USB type C, but this was an earbud that was originally released in 2018, which makes a little bit more sense because last year was kind of still the transition year, but it would have been nice if they just updated it at least for the collab. So in terms of how they fit in the ear, they actually do fit pretty comfortably and they're very easy to put on. And I found for the most part, they don't fall off easily. They do have a few different ear tips and in my ears, I think they look okay. They don't look great. Um, they kind of stick out a little bit, but they definitely do look better than some of the other offerings out there in the fully wireless field. You can go ahead and run with these. They're water and sweat resistant. But one thing that you do have to keep in mind is that there isn't an official IP rating, which may be something to consider. They also have the down facing microphones, but the biggest thing I noticed is that even though they are six millimeter drivers and they're very light and comfortable for the most part, they do get a little bit sore over a few hours, but it's a fact that I feel like they don't go that deep in your ear canal, which gives a little bit of space between the eardrum and the driver itself, which some people might like because you can hear ambient noise, but others might not like it at all because there is quite a bit of sound leakage when listening in a noisier place like in public. I found the sweet spot in terms of audio at around 70% and higher because these are definitely not the loudest pair out there and the space definitely contributes to that. You have to find yourself having to max out the audio to be able to hear things very clearly, but I do find that the audio quality for the retail price point of 129 is actually pretty reasonable and it actually sounds decent. The bass definitely tries, but the mids are pretty prominent. The highs are there, but the sound overall is just a little bit imbalanced for my liking. And I find that the AirPods sound significantly better. Overall though, I think it depends on what type of music you listen to, but listening to just regular pop or hip hop music, I found that the bass was decent and you're gonna be pretty satisfied at its retail price. So now into battery life, and these guys claim to give you up to about three hours, but I was able to get anywhere from two to two and a half, which definitely isn't the longest, but you do have to consider the weight at just 4.6 grams, you definitely can't fit the largest battery. The case adds 11 hours, and in 15 minutes of charge, you can get 45 minutes of listening, which is decent, but nothing crazy. One thing that I didn't like about these though was the way that you change your songs and skip tracks. So this right here goes in your ear, and if you wanna change tracks or skip songs, you've gotta press right on the surface, and it almost feels like you're pressing these into your brain, and that loud clicking sound definitely doesn't help either, and it just is really unpleasant. So overall, if you really don't like Apple AirPods, then at the price of 129 standalone, it is a pretty good option, but on Honestly, I feel like the price of 210 for the YSL collab just doesn't really bring much additional value because I'm definitely someone who is a sucker for collabs and I love YSL and I love uh, streetwear and stuff like that, but I just feel like in this case, you really aren't getting much for the additional price. But now let's talk about alternatives, and that is the Apple AirPods, which comes in at a price point of $159 at the starting price, which is just $30 more than the Yevo Air. And I think there's many reasons why these are better, especially for Apple users out there. First off, you have the sensors for play pause, as well as a quick connect when taking them on and off to pause the music, which already is a great feature. But the fact that they are also very light at just four grams, the Yevo Air is very light as well, but I just find that these specifically fit better in my ears than the silicone tips. The sound quality overall, I feel, is also tighter and sounds a little bit better. The bass and everything and the mids and highs are a little bit more balanced. But if you want a bigger bass, then I feel like the Yevo Air does have the edge. But like I said, the overall sound experience I just find is much better on the Apple AirPods as well as a sound seal, even though these are not noise canceling and we're waiting for that later this year. The battery life is also up to five hours and I found myself getting pretty close to that, anywhere between four and four and a half. And just 15 minutes of charge gets you three hours of use, which is impressive. And the case itself gives up to 24 hours of total use. Just these few features and at the starting price point being just $30 difference, I feel like these are definitely a much better value overall, just giving you that package experience. And another thing is the resale value of these are gonna be much better. Even though you probably shouldn't be buying used earbuds like this. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video of kind of a comparison between the Yevo Air YSL edition, which I was very curious about, versus the Apple AirPods, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.